In this video, we discuss pulmonary alveolar proteinosis. Pulmonary alveolar proteinosis is a rare lung disease characterized by an abnormal intraalveolar accumulation of surfactant-derived lipoproteinaceous material. There is an abnormal surfactant clearance from the lungs due to a fault in macrophage function. This usually affects adults aged 20 to 50 years and shows a male preponderance. There is a strong association with smoking. PAP may be divided into three broad categories. 1. Autoimmune. Previously known as the primary or idiopathic form. There are IgG antibodies to GMCSF. 2. Secondary. This is associated with other illnesses. Hematological malignancies like myelodysplasia, lymphoma, myeloid leukemia. Inhalational lung disease which exposure to silica, titanium oxide. Immunodeficiency, immunosuppression conditions and infections like HIV AIDS. Congenital form. Plain radiograph. Chest radiograph findings are inconclusive. You can see batwing pulmonary opacities. These are bilateral central symmetrical lung opacities with relative apical and costophrenic angle sparing. Reminiscent of pulmonary edema. This is the most common appearance in adults. The second pattern is diffuse small pulmonary opacities. Reminiscent of a miliary pattern. This is more common in children. Extensive diffuse consolidation. Reticular nodular opacities. But pleural effusions, cardiomegaly, and lymphadenopathy are usually not features of uncomplicated PAP. CT. Two main features characterize HRCT. Smooth thickening of interlobular and intralobular septal lines and ground glass opacities. A combination of these two features is termed a crazy paving pattern, geographical areas of ground glass opacification with thickened inter and intralobular septa. A slightly lower lobe predilection. Ground glass opacity typically resolves after therapeutic bronchoalveolar lavage, although septal thickening may persist. A similar CT appearance is seen in some patients with adenocarcinoma, exogenous lipoid pneumonia, and pulmonary edema. Treatment. Therapeutic, whole lung, bronchoalveolar lavage. GMCSF supplementation. Complications. Superimposed lung infections with aspergillus, candida, CMV, and more. Pulmonary fibrosis. Differential diagnosis. Imaging differential considerations for specific patterns include. Crazy paving pattern including ARDS, bacterial pneumonia, acute interstitial pneumonia. Ground glass opacities. Miliary opacities. Batwing pulmonary opacities. Pulmonary edema, pleural effusions, and cardiomegaly are usually absent in PAP. If you like the video, you can like it, comment it, and share it with your friends. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the bell button.